In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we figure out what our maximum working distance should be for a given flaw size. And I'm using the same information as in the last video I produced where we found what the, what the pixel size was. Here we're going to kind of work the other direction. And so we're going to use a camera that has a thermal sensor with a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels. I'm going to use a field of view lens that is 24 degree wide by 20 degree high. And we're going to figure out what our maximum distance is that we can stand uh, while we image an object. Now, for this one, uh, we have to first decide what our minimum object size is, what the, what the smallest object we have to be able to find is, or what the largest, largest object we, we can miss is. And so that will often be given by the inspection procedure. It'll, you know, it'll say the critical flaw size is uh, a half an inch or a quarter inch or three quarters of an inch. Uh, and so that's what's going to determine this. So for this one, I'm going to say our, our critical flaw size, I'm not sure why, I didn't like the, how I typed in flaw, critical flaw size. For this example, I'm going to use a critical flaw size of 0 0.500 inches, so a half an inch. Let's make that a little bit bigger so everyone can see it. Here we go. So with a critical flaw size of half an inch, what we're trying to figure out is how far away can we stand. And so we, again, we're going to have to probably do this. If we didn't do anything before, we would have to do it for both width and height. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that because in this case, our our width and our height uh, of the of the sensor resolution is a four by three and the field of view width versus height ratio is a six by five and so we're going to end up with rectangular pixels so we have to kind of determine which one uh, which one basically gives us a closer distance and that's how far away we can stand uh, and so in order to do that just a quick kind of reminder so uh, let's start with I'm going to start here with uh, doing the uh, doing the the horizontal because that's what I started with last time. So we'll look at the horizontal, which which would typically be the width. Uh, so let's look at horizontal, and for our horizontal, uh, just to draw kind of our diagram. Remember the camera, if we have our camera over here, ooh, something's a little off in my, let's try this again. So if we have our camera over here, and usually for horizontal, we're looking at it from a top view. So here's the top view of my camera. You know, it's going to be looking something like this. And so now we can get a horizontal distance. So we know that's, that horizontal distance is 640 pixels. We're trying to find our, our uh, distance away. And this will be D, I'll call it D sub H for D horizontal when we're in the horizontal plane. Uh, and here we've got to figure out, you know, we got to kind of work backwards. We got to figure out kind of what what our length is here that we can image in order to work backwards. And so again, we're going to be primarily focusing on one half of this triangle rather than the whole thing. And so if we've defined that our critical flaw size is 0.5 inches, we multiply that, or, you know, we know that we need to have at least three pixels covering that half an inch. Okay, so so that you have to have three pixels worth of width covering that half an inch. So we take our our flaw size, and we are going to divide that by three because that's the minimum number. So three by three divided by five gives us. A maximum of 0 0.6 inches per pixel so so this is inches per pixel for three pixels so it gives us 0 0.6 sorry 3 divided by sorry 0.5 divided by by 3 
I uh, did this backwards. 0 0.5 divided by 3, there we go, gives us a, a, a pixel size of maximum pixel size of 0 0.166 or 0 0.167. We'll say 0 0.1667 inches, okay, per pixel, inches per pixel, okay. So each pixel, that's the biggest each pixel can cover in order to meet this critical flaw size that we have. So with this, we know that uh, half of this, uh, we know that half of this triangle is uh, 320 pixels. So the max width we can have there is we take our you know, our inches per pixel, 0 0.1667, you know, inches, you know, inches per pixel. And we multiply that times 320 pixels. So the pixels cancel out. That gives us a distance, you know, our max distance we can be imaging at one time is this is the 0 0.1667 times 320. So we take that times 320. And that gives us a distance, uh, a, a horizontal distance of maximum horizontal distance we can measure at one time for half of that triangle of 53.33 repeating. So 53.33 repeating inches. Okay. So now we know that our triangle, the width here, is 53.33 inches. And we know our angle, remember our angle was given up here. And we're, we're looking at the horizontal, so 24, but we're looking at half of that. So 24 divided by 2 equals 12 degrees, right? And so again, and we're looking for the horizontal distance. So what's our max horizontal distance? So, and if we move any further away than the calculation we're going to do here, then we will, that will increase this here, and that will mean our pixels get too big. Uh, for a given flaw size. So again, this is another, we've got opposite and adjacent, so it's another tangent problem. So here we have the tangent of 12 equals, now it's 53.33 divided by the distance horizontal, d sub h. So distance horizontal, so d sub h in this case, equals... 53.33 divided by tangent of 12. And that comes out to, we take our 53.33, we divide it by the tangent of 12, and that gives us 250 inches, 250.913, or 250.91 inches. Remember, everything we've done so far is in inches. Now, most people are probably going to want that in feet. So if we want to take 250.91 inches, we divide that by 12 equals, divided by 12, gives us a max distance of 20.91, and we're going to round that down to, we'll say, 20.9. Uh, and you want to round down because you need to err on the side of being a little bit closer. So 20.9 feet. Okay, so that's our max distance looking at it in the, the horizontal plane, but we also have to consider the vertical plane. And so now for the vertical plane, we are going to set up our camera over here. And now we're going to look at it in the vertical plane. And I'm just going to draw the half of the triangle for now. 
Remember, there would be another half down here that I'm going to kind of skip for now. But we're now we're trying to find the distance horizontal, or sorry, this is the distance for the vertical plane. And we know that our angle here, again, earlier was the 20. We take our 20 field of view and divide it by 2. So because it's going to have a 20 divided by 2 gives you 10 degrees. Okay. We're trying to find out dv. Our height here was 480 pixels, but that was the, the full height. So this is 480 divided by 2 equals 240 pixels. Okay. These are 240 pixels. And remember, we said our, our pixel size, you know, here, pixels per inch, is we had to take our, our, our size divided by 3 pixels, our max size divided by 3 pixels, gave us this. And this doesn't change, so that's 0 0.1667. So we do our... And I'm going to put that in my calculator just so I have it to work with. I have the 0 0.5 uh, divided by 3, and I'm going to put it back to the bottom here so, it's, so I can use it for further calculations. So we have our pixel size. You know, we can't have a pixel size greater than 0.166. So if we have a pixel size of 0.166, you know, 0, 0 0.1667, right, pixels, inches per pixel, excuse me. Okay, 0 0.1667 inches per pixel. And now we have 240, so we need to multiply that by the 240 pixels. Those cancel each other out. Gives us a maximum height. So we take our 166, we multiply that times the 240 pixels. Gives us a maximum height of 40 inches. Okay. So we can't go, we can't back up any further and stretch that more than 40, 40 inches. Okay. Uh, and so that is our height. So we take that 40 and we plug it, you know, into the same equation. So we take the tangent of 10 and now it equals opposite. Remember, to, uh, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 40 divided by that distance we're trying to find, the vertical, the distance when we're looking at the vertical, multiply both sides times dv, divide, you know, so, so what I, I kind of skipped this earlier, but we take dv, and that becomes dv times the tangent of 10 equals 40, because we multiplied both sides by dv, and then I divide both sides by the tangent of 10 equals dv equals 40 divided by the tangent of 10, and that's going to give us our max distance when we're looking at this from the vertical perspective. So we go back in here, we take 40, we divide it by the tangent of 10, and that gives us 226.85, remember again, inches. Oops. So we take that to 226.85 inches. Okay, that's our, that's our distance, our dv. Again, probably more useful to have it in feet, so we divide that inches divided by 12, 12 in, inches per foot. So we'll go back in here, divide it by 12. It gives us a distance of 18.9 uh, feet. 0.9 feet, or I'll write feet after it, 18.9 feet. So, you know, when we looked at it from a horizontal perspective, it said we could be 20.9 feet away. 
But when we look at it from the vertical perspective, because we have rectangular pixels, we can really only be 18.9 feet away. So if we have to uh, measure a flaw that is a point you know, no, no bigger than 0 0.5 inches, the max distance we could be away is 18.9 feet. And at 18.9 feet, we're going to be able to see roughly 80 inches vertical or double this, you know, measurement because we're looking at half the triangle here. So, you know, double that measurement. So if our object was only 80 inches tall, we'd be good. If it was taller than that, we'd have to kind of scan up and down. Uh, and then scan, also we have to kind of scan left and right. So here with these, you know, with 640 by 480, resolution sensor, 24 by 20 degree field of view lens with a critical flaw size of 0.5 inches. Uh, we can, and, and right here is where I probably should note that this is vertical versus horizontal because it was this, these were the horizontal calculations here. And then down here are the vertical calculations. Uh, we get a max, uh, max, what's called, this is, we'll call it distance when looking at it from the vertical perspective of 18.9 feet.